So we're hooking these rails together. They come in 11 foot sections. You get a splice kit, hooks them together. That gives you a 22 foot section. So I'm gonna make 22 foot sections, put them up on the roof and then hook those together to make 44 foot sections. All right, now I'm gonna get this on here. Like so, tape off. Just drop this in here. Just like that. I'm not gonna tighten it up much just yet. I wanna be able to move it. on the splices. Oh, I got to get this bad boy in here. All right. That could be hopefully oh, you lucky dog lined up nicely. That sucker is hooked up. Oh, I got another one up here. Mark the center point, roughly the center point. Okay, so you go like that. And do the two and the five. rail all the way to the top. Here we go. Who knows why that might be important later. That there. Stay there for a second. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, so I got all these rails just tacked into place. Now I gotta get them leveled up and torqued down and they gotta be square. So I'm gonna start by leveling up the uh, bottom rail and getting it in position. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the bottom three rails are all squared, leveled, and torqued. So now I just gotta do the top rail. I'm going to measure back three feet on both rails. Three feet on the top rail right there. Three feet. Now we got 58 three quarters and a sixteenth. Fifty-eight, three quarters and a sixteenth. Right, dead on. We are square so now for leveling and torquing. I've done three of them now, so I got a system. So I put the screwdriver in here and sit on it so it's tight. Snug it up. Working it to eighteen foot pounds. Doesn't seem like much. But it's a big old breaker bar, so that's fine. One more. Yeah, you see that? That's dead on. Got all four rails leveled, torqued, 
and squared to one another. So we're set to go and ready for the start putting on the panels. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.